doing it. Do they have a read? Oh yeah, second slam onto two! They slam the centaur straight away, but in the return, Katomi is instantly wiped out. Ravage there onto three. They'll attempt to take down the Batrider. Batrider gone. Centaur coming back to the fight. They found themselves the grip though onto Pure, but there's no follow up. There's no follow up onto Pure. As meanwhile though, in the back lines, Dobson taken down here by the hands of Watson. Buybacks on two of the side of Entity. As now Pure coming in with the Moon Glaives. Takes down Watson. Takes down the end there too. Oh, the damage is too much for them to handle. Blink coming forward, cancels the TP there until no one he attempts to flee will be stopped in his tracks there by the hoop stop. Goodbye, no one. Ultra kill for the hands of this. He's loser. hunting for the fish, man. He knows he has no TP. Will it be the rampage? Somebody show him, please. Pure is yeah, coming. Do you want to? Make something break the smoke, happen. trying to go for the kill on Topson. They did not realize, though, that everyone was sitting behind him. Well, not everyone, not the Luna. So maybe this is why they want to take this fight. Four staff pushes Zari the wrong way. Now the Life Seal is going to pop out. Still wants to go for this kill on the Razor. They get a four staff. He got stunned, but can they see him? PCM coming through with a Spirit Siphon, trying to do some damage. Four staff trying to get him away from Pure. Pure, the damage is scary, especially with the Shard on out. But they got a good wall thrown in. Ari tosses up Pure. He's getting a little bit low, oh but the Glaze, nice. they bounce to finish up the Death Prophet. Now Tomato's fighting, but he doesn't have the Death Prophet's damage. They don't have enough to punch through these heroes anymore. And Tomato will just get run down. Pure. Find well, it. Looking. I it's found it. It's the same story, though. Hit the Gleipnir. Arrow. Sep trying to get in position. Hit a shackle shot here. Only gets Mickey. So Boxy is free to deliver some heals. Mickey healing up. Half HP. A little bit more. They finally get him. But at the same time, what is it going to cost them? Liquid has already moved over. And they have a Doom onto the Arc Warden. 33 is getting a little bit low. Boxy back into play with the Dragon Knight. Quickly gets targeted, though, by the Arc Warden. Uh, Illusion and BZM. BZM, he's just going to die, man. They have all the detection, apparently, to see all these heroes. 33 gets tossed in the air. Still living. He needs a tree toss. He needs to find a <laughs> Get your illusion oh out of God. the way, man. What are you doing, Nisha? All right, 33 lives despite <laughs> the attempt by Nisha to get his ally killed. And <laughs> Insania will quite literally do a little spin dance on Ari's soon-to-be corpse. Because he doesn't have a blink dagger, so there's really no way for him out of this. And drop the bracer. Nisha doesn't need it to kill Ari. Don't think he needs any items to kill Ari, frankly. Oh, Aww. Boxy screwed that one up. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I guess he, you get the vision for him to then rebound and chase after him. Going for Marcy, got the BKB off before the pulverize. The damage, though, He's gone. lots of damage. Still pierced through that BKB, no problem. 33 blinks ahead of the Gleipnir as Whisper chases after Dragon Knight. Got a shackle shot. Beautiful from Seb. But 33 with reinforcements. Dooms up the Primal Beast. Seb is being pushed away. It's all up to Tomato to try and punch through these heroes. He's got 33. Can he do the damage? Oh, no. A Fiend's Grip on the real Arc Warden. The damage halts. And maybe he wouldn't even do enough damage to threaten Nisha anyway. This Dragon Knight is a big bad boy. He's got a Beyond Godlike spree, and he's cooking up a double Beyond Godlike as BZM's gonna die. Here, stolen onslaught. Deal the core runs this? up a high ground. A song to try and do something here to set up a Rolling Thunder, maybe. I mean, they don't need it. And hit it. It's gonna be good enough to kill this Dragon here. They get that one kill. Now trying to get out. Shield rune gets dispelled immediately by the Doom. Trouble now for Coffee as he runs in all of these heroes and the Rolling Thunder is preventing the Wraith King from doing much. Gunner coming in from the side though. Finishes off the Doom. Almost gets the Lacor as well. Throws out a little damage on a Kit Track as well. Yuma, he doesn't mind this Static Storm. Actually, he's a little low on mana if he's yeah, down here. One charge is coming up. He needs the one charge. It's on cooldown Ooh. right now. It's on cooldown. He couldn't get it off. Shop need to be bold enough to get up there. Actually, Shopify. Anyway, oh, it's like the they jump outside of it. The static storm on all of these heroes with a stomp as well. Oh, this is just beautiful for Shopify. There is really no contest here. It is already over this fight. You get the stolen siphon. Oh, there's an Ag's already on there. Oh, that Ag's. Man. He got the vision on the Crystal Maiden. You're either doing Primal or you're doing Wraithing on his second. Oh, crap. RTZ. He slipped away last time. They cannot afford to let him slip away again. Mass TP's coming in from Shopify. He deals with the missile with his illusions. Copy gets grabbed by his own pulverized. Yuma's in the mix. He does have that Aegis, so 
Even if he dies here, it's okay. Toss down, hits a Wraith Fire Blast onto Arteezy. Arteezy, the heart is not gonna be good enough, I don't think. Wait, no, yo, Pudge! Saves him on copy, chains him up, kinetic field, holds him in place, hits him again and again and again. Gunner's trying to pull away from this low ground, but Yuma is just getting permanently controlled. He's got reincarnation in three seconds time. Two is not up in time. Gunner for last. Gunner is the last one standing, and Gunner tries and he gets one. Spirit oh, Smoke's gonna break. Oh my <laughs> gosh, it's not put the fall. This could be a massive chrono. The chrono comes out there. It connects onto four. They've got themselves the Rubik and the Pat Rider. Now they're laying into Law. Law, absolute disaster here for Team Spirit as they come forward. They get them. Does have Blink Dagger ready along with Ulti. Jump forward from Notice immediately onto the Shadow Demon trying to find him. They get the arrow connection on the Sanctity too, but nobody's staying on him at all. Now the turn, the Blink away, the Freed runs in. Yuraki living Sonic Wave on oh. the Five! Yuragi with the double kill, but Sanctity doing the big damage wait, wait, here. The TPs are happening? coming. Uh, and Kiritich self stuns. Now Lifesteal inside, swap back to get away. Notice beaten into and trying to kill off Nifrit. Sanctity is on top of the Venge, not dead yet. Second round of the Pulverize. Notice still living. This puddle doing a lot of work, and now the catch. Malady is gone. Then Abyssal Blade. Notice lives in some trouble. Yuragi trying to separate. Sanctity is still being such a thorn in their sides. Where is the Enigma? He's moving in from the other side of the map. He does have that black hole at the ready. Kirita just right there on top of him. The open wounds comes out, ready for the black hole and nowhere to go. They are going to take down Kirita. No need for the Enigma. And taking it down the Pugna to boot. You lose this game is if you overcome it there. Well, beyond beyond the synth. An aggressive jump onto the Timber Sword. They truly got the damage to deal with Bark. Maybe with the damage from Pomlo, but it's not gonna matter. The Earth Spider comes flying again. Echo stop as well oh. once again. And they just all Did gone call it. Just call it. Just. Mercy. Inside the river. Everybody put the sun on to Tiami. Oh no, but he just leaves away. And now 70 has to pop a really early BKB. They're on the Ori though. They're on the really? Ori, but if they got the damage, it doesn't look like it. Eric is not here just yet. He's gonna now enter the fate, but it seems like it's far too late. Dan's on the glazier. Oh, it's a big marksmanship pop though. He gets the kill. Arkham might get some distance away, but low is hot pursuit. Once he's able to close the distance, your marksmanship is not a threat anymore, and your life will be drained. Is it Q? Beyond's gonna try and jump in. Parking down low, but Low's gonna be able to activate the BKB, but 70 comes crashing to the middle, but he's stuck! The Pango is stuck and Low is turning for Roche. Is there any way to be able to stop him? Beyond's gonna Beyond try and get in the middle. Any stunners? Got it. Any snatches? Low gets it. Second line. Another fight potentially for AR as well as 70. What a disaster of a team fight and how? He's gonna be kidnapped. She's the much easier kill, but maybe they can turn back on a 23 Savage where they don't get another bonk immediately. The buyback now off from the Maidens. They are pinging on to CJ. They want to try and take him down, but no Orchid for four more seconds. They're gonna to have to time this split Earth stun, and they've done so perfectly. Can they prevent him from time walking? Not quite. And now Womi opening up onto the Naga Sire and the Chrono is a Chrono. thing of beauty as well. It's caught not only one, but 23 Savage as well. Stolen Chrono is gonna be able to find Womi as the RP connecting onto CJ. Down goes the tiny. 23 Savage, he may have died, but it'll allow the the rest of this team <laughs> Roar comes out onto QQ immediate BKB though Arrow does connect but he's just chilling inside his BKB Drayton now might get stunned for a second when he comes out the other side Chuan tries to jump in Arena comes down they really want to bring down this Tusk but they've got to turn around and deal with Lorena with the front lines who's just blasting through the Beastmaster Beast trying to keep himself alive he does have himself that Yules upon himself to drive by oh, itself a little bit time the beautiful back arena coming on through Akashi is there Eclipse is doing damage but 1v5 it's not gonna be enough surely it's not gonna be enough the song is just gonna calm everybody down swarm around it you were back, big target, Yokam. He just bought back and he's dead again. They oh, tried to save him a hook shot across from Q as well. Beautifully done from the clockwork. Messing with Juan, locking him down, allowing Lauren over 23 to come in, deal the damage and take him out. Now disperse the forwards from 23. Akashi tries to jump from the sideline, stealing that Medusa palm, trying to deal damage, but Snake doesn't bounce. So he has to just kind of try and fight up. But the, the 
Magnus comes in, takes down Akashi. Akashi's still alive for the time being. Jab is actually the one to die instead. Akashi does just so much damage, but now out of mana, running out of health. The Morphling might finally fall. He does. Buyback available, but without your teammates, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Finally, the Roshan might be going the way of Auroran. About to go into the base, Winter. This is going to be a big fight as Sumail, Moonlight shadowed up. He's going to try and get stun. the initiation, but the stun, not in time there. They're still on to Ducalis. He's still alive, finally taken down by the right clicks of Miracle. Sumail trying to at least stop one. We have a Song of the Siren. We have a Primal Split. We haven't used either yet. There's a Refresher that just got delivered as well for the Primal Beast. That's going to be split number one as Miracle BK beat up. He's a bit isolated, fighting by himself. Miracle, the mechanism in trouble. Heal, but Miracle in with the toss, the explosion for the blast off. He gets off the thunder, thunder just in the nick of time. And Omar instead, he's going to be the one that goes down. He's got buyback into the fight immediately as Miracle standing his ground, continuing to fight. They have the lift onto Sumail. The Conda damage is insane as well out from the tree volley. But Noob doing what he can. Miracle. The avalanche is pretty good. Miracle's going to go down. Noob throws Sumail on top of him. The King has flattened Miracle. And Matthew is left do almost nothing. FBZ at least able to straight blinks into the pit, but there's no one home. Instead, it's Miracle who finds Noob. The Ravage doesn't catch him in time. He gets the BKB off. FBZ didn't catch anything. He's just taking down Wards now because the team fight is breaking down all around him. Miracle, he's killed off by the boat. Matthew dies, and the Kuro is left completely by himself. GG. 32 minute room spawns and Noob. Oh, he got. He needs to get off the shield rune. He's got it bodily. He, he does. It get it out in time so he's going to be able to live for the time being Samel now he's going to be the target here but he's a tricky old cookie to crack as the Manta comes out TA2000 staying on him though broken being taken down the Dragonite will drop FBZ trying to get off Dukas but Dukas is actually really damn tanky inside of that freezing field FBZ he's losing all his health just trying to kill off the Crystal Main in the middle of this PSG quest they get four everybody dead an RP he goes for it. He grabs Divai Lama. Primal Beast will go down. Double buybacks immediately. Nice Glyph near helping loot root up this Grimstroke and find the kill. They even get another MNC has to TP, but the Pulverize is there. You've left them to die. You and don't you have actually any help her. coming his way. Disarm for the moment, and that will be a fantastic kill. Clockwork. Also scouting out more on the backside. They found Divai Lama. Tries to swap Spuckle away, but another Glyph near to root him up. Can they get the Pango? Roll up is there. He has no way out, right? Surely he dies this time. From your Mars, this is what you're looking for. You don't have Arena for another 10 seconds, but it will be able to spin down this Death Prophet. And can they burst him in time? He's gonna turn around with these Spirit Cyphos, and K1 does it again! A three hero crowd, all the smiles from this Death Prophet. Like, yeah, nice one. Right back here on the Alp, they're gonna hold. You're still hiding on the backside. BKB forced out from the Luna, but the tier fours are falling and fast. K1 goes in. Static Storm, where is it? It gets dropped. In comes the Dawnbreaker, but MNZ, he's in trouble. Oh, pulled back beautifully into the wall from Divine Lama. He's trying his best to survive, but Schofield's just dunked on him. GG comes out, and Heroic will be your winners.